does having a master's help you break into banking and finance let's talk about it i get asked this question a lot by various people emeka does a master's help me break into banking and finance into ibd into risk into sales and trading into equity research the short answer is it does help but let me tell you why it actually helps number one it only helps if you can get in front of the interviewer and actually show you that master's knowledge because just having it on your cv doesn't really help that much because at the end of the day the role you're applying for someone with a bsc can do it that's just the short truth you're not giving that sort of outright nudge or push but if you can get to the interview and show you have that further knowledge in banking and finance then of course you're going to get the job because you're the best person they interviewed all things being equal someone on msc in finance versus bsc in finance the person on the msc in finance should know more now you have to actually show that you know more during the interview that's how a master's helps not because they see msc finance from lsc on your cv they think oh let's hire him straight away no in fact i would actually say if you have a master's and you get to interview the expectation might actually come up more because they're saying oh this guy's a master's he's able to show me a lot more versus on the bsc they're not expecting you to know everything but your masters they kind of are so on the flip side it might actually hinder your chances of getting a role a master's now might actually be more useful than before just because everyone thinks you need it so if everyone thinks you need it everyone's gonna do it and so the competition during the interview is a lot higher so to be able to compete with people that have a master's and have that further knowledge you might also need to do a master's and have that further knowledge but it doesn't mean it's compulsory it all comes down to being the best person during the interview now if you decide to do a master's what school should you go to there's a bit of a conundrum here and it almost contradicts what i said before if you want to do a master's there are more or less two types of schools you can go for if you're in the uk you could go for the imperials oxford and cambridge big brand names if you go for those you're banking on the fact that if someone sees the brand name they're more likely to interview you on the flip side there's actually specialized business schools where you learn a lot more and actually develop more knowledge from all things being equal such as lse london business school and Bayes business school formerly city those three schools have more or less the best business degrees best finance degrees in the country but now there's a toss-up do you go for the oxford cambridge or do you go for the lse or Bayes business school what i would say is if you have an undergrad in finance then to be honest go for the brand name go for the oxford and cambridge now if you've not done finance before it's kind of hard to say but i would say go to a specialized business school like LSC or like Bayes because in those schools 100% you're going to learn a lot more like hands down now in terms of courses what master's degree should you actually do I would say it really depends on the role you're applying for but let's talk about if it's ECM, DCM, MA, leverage finance, credit, market risk, equity research a normal MSc in finance will be more than enough or MSc in corporate finance or any general masters in finance degree will do perfectly now if for example you want to do some quantitative trading or some quantitative research then obviously your masters has to be very advanced so computational finance, quantitative finance under a finance masters that has some sort of coding in it so that way when you're applying for those technical roles you can actually get it because a lot of them require an MSc or PhD in a very quantitative degree another reason why the specialized business schools are good is because if for example you did bsc in finance and if for example you know you want to work in the metals and mining division of a big bank base business schools has an energy and trading finance masters they also have a shipping and trading finance master so they have a lot of specialized degrees for people that already know what specific division they want to go in which i find really good thanks for watching the video guys hope you found that useful and if you did Drop a comment below about what you think about the subject and I'll see you in the next video.